are you people? On dope? Hi, welcome again. We're gonna make another beat with the Linux sampler. This time, I got me a brew. Okay. Now first, let me show you some of the sounds we're working with today. Listen to this choir sound. Listen, it has male and female. Listen to this. <laughs> Pretty tight, huh? Okay, now we're going to work with that, but first, let's get down the drums. I already laid down the drums earlier, so I'm just going to play them. in this, so I'm going to turn down the bass a little bit on the mixer. There we go. Now you see, that's, that's just the basic drums right there. I haven't added any other percussion into it. I think the basic hi-hat snare, snare clap or whatever is playing. And the kick drum sounds just fine. It sounds just fine. Nice hip hop tone to it. Now the chord progression. Um, it was like a G chord progression, like one, two, three, four, something like that. But I changed it to all minors, and it sounded even better. So, you know, like this right here. Here's the chord structure. That's the chord structure right there. Now, the bass is one of my favorite bass. I found these analog bass samples that were sound fonts and, and they were just off the hook. Like this right here. Like, like that is just off the hook right there. The piano. Then I have these strings. I think they're VSL instrument strings, but they sound really good. Almost knock the like oh, my old motif. This these strings knock them out the water. These are cello strings. Sound really good. Yeah, uh, those strings sound really good. Now um, let's see what else we got. Um, I have another drum. I just like this sound right here. It goes good with the bass too. With the with like a subwoofer. That's off the Phantom drums, but it's all on the Linux sampler. Sampler, yeah. Um, let's see in this box, and it's this is like some type of box sample, but it sounds really good. It sounds really good. Watch. Like, like it's almost like it's talking, you know? Like, like it sounds so cool. You could use it so many places. I got a lead over here. You know, a lead, whatever. And then I added some, I found these effects, you know, and I got, I, the one thing I hate about these effects, I gotta kinda dig through stuff, but once I get it, it's cool, right? Okay, here's the effects. You know, ba basic wind sound, any synth can really create it, any software synth, hardware synth can create that, but you know, you add it in here. And that's, let's see, about it. Um, let me start the piano off. Let's see. Might need to brush up on the EQ a little bit. Okay, let's play the piano. Oh. What was that? Oh, that's why. Okay. Piano. Now, if you're wondering where that piano sound came from, it's the Giga Studio Piano 2, Giga Piano 2. And I found some, some layers that were from a Korg M1, and I spliced them together and made a multi sample. So it sounds like that. It sounds like the romantic piano off the Triton rack. But but it sounds better. 
Especially when you put the EQ on it, it sounds so bright and so interesting. Just add something to the track. Okay, now we're gonna do this. Let's, uh, let's go and turn this back. Um, I got these, um, the choir going on over here, the keyboard choir. You know, the keyboard choir right here, so let's see how that adds into the mix. I always like to add something like that because it reminds me of Dr. Dre in a way. Um, let's add the lead. There's no leads going through the track. Let's just add the bass. Let's just add everything. Let's see. Let's see how it sounds. All right. Take care. Thanks for watching. Are the beats? Are the beats? This is a Randy White beat. This is a Randy White beat. A Randy White beat. Hey. This is a Randy White beat. Hey. This is a Randy White beat. This is a Randy White beat.